So you're thinking about moving to or buying property in Three Forks, Montana, but you don't know that much about the area or you're wondering about those positives or negatives. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to cover in this video. I'm going to go through those pros and cons, the good and the bad of living in or moving to Three Forks, Montana. It's a small town here in Southwest Montana, surrounded by farmland and beautiful scenery. Uh, but there's definitely some things that are important to know, things that you're gonna wanna uh, know what to expect before buying property or moving here to Three Forks, Montana. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check out uh, my previous videos, one where I did a full vlog tour driving around Three Forks, showing you uh, some different homes in different price points, uh, as well as you know just getting a big picture of what Three Forks is all about. And there's also one where I dive into my computer and show you, you know, give you the lay of the land in Google Maps. And of course, if you're curious about other areas here in Southwest Montana as well, I've got several videos all around the area, Bozeman, uh, Big Sky, Belgrade, uh, Gallatin Gateway, and there's definitely more to come. So as I said today, I'm going to be going over all of those things that you need to know about Three Forks, Montana before making any kind of move, uh, you know, the good and the bad. So let's get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living here in Three Forks, Montana or the surrounding areas here in Southwest Montana, like Big Sky, Ennis, Livingston, Belgrade, and Bozeman, then be sure to subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Three Forks and those surrounding areas here in Southwest Montana. My name is Hallie. I am a local real estate agent and the team and I, we get calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move here in Southwest Montana and we absolutely love it. Whether you're looking to buy or sell or invest or uh, move in the next nine days or 90 days, just give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email and I would be honored to help you find your place here in Southwest Montana. All my information is in the description below. Now, one of the things that I definitely tend to get asked about the most around here that is both a pro and a con is the weather. Uh, really depends on your perspective and how much you love winter because it's no surprise or no secret that Montana does experience fairly intense winters uh, most years. Uh, you know, cold, snow, wind, all of it. Summer is definitely shorter than winter overall. If you're talk, if you're looking for that full balance of seasons, we don't really have that. Uh, uh, winter is definitely longer, so road construction, for instance, tends to be concentrated more to those summer months as it can be pretty difficult to do any of that during the winter. Uh, that goes for some home building as well, though there are ways to get around that. And a lot of the builders here in Montana have definitely, uh, you know, they're very accustomed to being able to build almost year round. Now, Three Forks is in a slightly different area, um, just to the Northwest of Bozeman. And it's not right on that mountain front like Bozeman is. So Three Forks actually does tend to get a bit less snow overall than Bozeman does. In Montana overall, the snow has been known to fly any given month of the year really, but those summer storms are pretty few and far between overall. Usually the snow starts in October or November and lasts maybe through uh, April and in the mountains it may go a little bit later than that. But again, the average snowfall in Three Forks is quite a bit lower than that in say the neighboring towns of Belgrade and Bozeman. For comparison's sake, in the month of December, on average, uh, the Three Forks area gets, you know, a total accumulation of about 2.4 inches of snow, whereas Bozeman, on average, uh, might get twice that much or more uh, on average. Now, of course, the mountains are going to see far more snow than that, and there's some great ski areas all around from Great Divide up in Helena to Bridger Bowl just outside of Bozeman to Big Sky down to the south. Uh, there's some absolutely epic skiing and snowboarding all over the area, as well as snowmobiling and all the other winter adventure uh, that you might be able to come up with. So for many, the weather and the winters are definitely a pro. Of course, with all of that uh, snow and wind and cold, we definitely experience some wintry roads. Um, of course, the cities and the county and the Department of Transportation do a great job of clearing you know, the highways or maintaining the highways and major roads, but there are still gonna be times where you know, the roads are slick or visibility is poor. So it's always best to plan ahead and have a vehicle that is well equipped for those winter roads. 
Good winter tires and some all wheel drive are gonna make a big difference. And that's why you'll see so many Subarus here in the state of Montana. The climate overall in Southwest Montana is pretty dry. Um, you know, most of the farmland around here is irrigated. Um, and you know, there are gonna be times in the summer where we may not see uh, any moisture or rain for weeks at a time. That unfortunately does mean that we also have a bit of a fire season. Late summer and early fall, uh, things can get a bit smoky in the area if there's you know, fires close by or in the state or even neighboring states. Uh, so definitely something to keep in mind. Now, of course, in the summer, there's also going to be amazing opportunities to get out and enjoy this beautiful state. Um, you know, in addition to the skiing and snowboarding in the winter, of course, we've got, um, you know, boating and hiking, backpacking, uh, camping, doing all of those fun things. And Three Forks in particular has a wonderful opportunity uh, for fly fishing in the rivers, of course, as well as hunting with lots of access to those public lands right here in the area. There are several amazing state parks near Three Forks as well. Uh, so one of them is the Lewis and Clark Caverns where uh, you can go for a tour through the caverns and it's an absolutely incredible experience. There's also Buffalo Jump State Park which talks about all of the history of the land as well as the Missouri Headwaters State Park uh, which is the confluence of the Madison, Jefferson, and Gallatin Rivers forming the Missouri River. One really cool thing that happens every single summer in August just outside of Three Forks is called Rock in the Rivers. It's a music event that brings together talented rock groups, combines them with the absolutely gorgeous uh, Montana, you know, Southwest Montana landscape here, and it's become an absolutely must attend rock show. Because it's an event that spans over the course of the weekend, there's also campsites uh, offered as well. And, you know, it's definitely something you're gonna wanna reserve well in advance. And it's located at the bridge near Three Forks. Uh, more specifically, it's just a little bit south and west of Three Forks, just off of Highway 287. Now, there are some really unique communities nearby Three Forks uh, that also offer off-grid living. Now, that might not be something that's, you know, unique to Montana specifically, uh, but I know it's something that not everyone is that familiar with. So we have Clarkston, Montana, just northeast of uh, Three Forks that's right there in that Missouri River Valley um, and the community right nearby of Ponderosa Pines, which is this development with a lot of larger plots of land. Um, and it all offers uh, mostly, I should say, off-grid living. Many of the homes have generators or propane tanks or uh, solar. So it's definitely not something that's for everyone, but for for those looking for that sort of thing, it's an absolutely beautiful place to live. Now this brings me, of course, to the views in the area overall. Uh, you kind of can't go wrong with the rivers and the you know mountains not too far away and those rolling hills, farmland, and wide open spaces. It's absolutely a beautiful spot to live. Now the views are certainly different than those of Bozeman and Belgrade, you know, those neighboring towns uh, being that we are a short distance away, but it is absolutely still something to see for yourself. Now, another thing that it can be both a pro and a con is that Three Forks is a pretty small little town. Um, the population is about 2000 people, um, which means that it's this, got this, you know, adorable, small town charming feel and a very tight-knit community people know each other and help each other out um, so definitely a positive there uh, but if you're not expecting that if you're looking for something bigger uh, that can certainly be a bit of a con uh, you know for things like shopping um, there's not a lot of variety there's not a lot of options uh, of course there's a hardware store and a grocery store and and you know other small shops right downtown but in terms of anything larger or more specialty stores, you're not gonna find much and you're gonna be finding yourself heading over to Bozeman or Belgrade for a lot of that kind of shopping. Now with that small town, uh, that also means there's gonna be a lack of job opportunities potentially. Now, if you're in the agriculture industry or uh, something like that, or if you have the opportunity to work from home, it's a beautiful place to do that. But otherwise you might find yourself commuting uh, one direction or another for work. Um, of course, we've got Bozeman over to the east where a lot of people do commute. Um, Helena up north about an hour away. Uh, so a little bit further there and then Butte over to the west as well so there are options uh, and Three Forks is a lovely little town if that's something that you're interested in doing. 
And of course, Three Forks itself is a lovely little town. There are certainly some small businesses and you may be able to find the right opportunity for you, but they are limited. Now, of course, I've already talked about the proximity and commute to Bozeman, uh, which is just about 30 minutes away. And one of the positives there, in addition to you know shopping or potential jobs, is also the International Airport. Uh, the Bozeman Yellowstone International Airport is located just outside or in between Belgrade and Bozeman. So that means you don't have to drive for hours like some other small towns uh, across the state of Montana here to get to a fairly busy airport. It's not a hub, but the airport does offer uh, you know service to a lot of different destinations. Uh, so you may find yourself with a stopover in Salt Lake or Denver or Seattle, for instance. But uh, as the airport and as the area has grown, there have been uh, more and more direct flights as well. As with many small towns in Montana, uh, you're not going to find a lot for public transportation in Three Forks. Uh, there may be a few Ubers or Lyfts, uh, but they are going to be pretty limited. So it is a fairly vehicle dependent town and area overall. The cost of living in Three Forks, Montana is definitely a, uh, a bit higher than the national average. Now, payscale.com puts it right around the same as Bozeman, about 21% higher than the national average. But I've also seen other sites uh, put it about 10% higher than the national average because home prices and some of those other costs do tend to be lower than the Bozeman area overall. So speaking of home prices specifically, uh, the home prices in Three Forks, Montana are definitely going to be a bit higher than the national average, but again, not as high as Bozeman. There are currently 46 residential properties listed in the greater Three Forks area. Uh, that includes condos, townhomes, and single family homes, of course. And the median listed price right now is 582,000. Now, not only is that lower than Bozeman, it's also lower than Belgrade, which is just outside of Bozeman and tends to be a bit lower uh, as well. So coming out a little further, getting a little bit more distance uh, from Bozeman, you are gonna see those prices come down a bit more. Being that it is as small as it is, the area of Three Forks does only have three public schools, an elementary school, a middle school, and a high school. And according to Niche.com, they are all fairly highly rated. All in all, the folks who live in Three Forks, Montana, live there for a variety of different reasons. Perhaps they do commute to Bozeman, um, but wanted that small town life as well, or perhaps they were looking for a little bit more land so they could have some horse property uh, at a lower cost than living closer to Bozeman. Or perhaps they just wanted to live in Three Forks itself, um, you know, and embrace that small town life uh, with that charming downtown and a tight knit community of people who really know and care about each other. It's an absolutely beautiful place to live with all that opportunity for outdoor adventure as well, um, from wonderful opportunities for hunting and fishing uh, to the skiing and snowboarding not too far away as well. So if that's the kind of thing you're hoping to find with those views and wide open spaces, maybe a little bit more land and that small town uh, Montana community, Three Forks is absolutely a wonderful place to be. I hope you found value in this video. And of course, if you have any additional questions or things you'd like to know about the area, please leave those in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And as always, whether you're looking to buy or sell or move or invest in the next nine days or 90 days, be sure to give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. And I would be honored to help you find your place here in Three Forks, Montana, as well as the surrounding areas here in Southwest Montana. And until next time, I hope to show you around.